Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on my channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. I investigate many of these different events such as this plane crash that has happened up in Colorado area. Today is September 1st as we are investigating this. I was woken up by the Lord a few years ago and I was told to go and map out many different things and I've been drawn to many of these different type of events just like this and these seem to be messages to all of us that we're nearing the end. And then as we go over here, this whole area is actually going to map out the end of days coming with me showing the earth as a grid. May God have mercy on all of the people that died in this terrible crash, this family. One of the first signs is it's about five people. We're nearing this fifth age of the Bible coming, the age of Aquarius even coming. Well, let's go over to this area and take a look at some of this. The, the older pilot gentleman was named Oliver Frascona right here. And then five people were killed all through there. All five people involved died. But this area right where this is will show the end of days coming as we keep mapping out on my channel. This is the Erie Municipal Airport right here. See right here? In Colorado. They crashed just northwest of the runway. They crashed right here. Now for the people that are following me, we're going to see this stuff right away. And for the people that have never seen this stuff before, welcome to the Matrix. God is real and everything's going according to Scripture. Let's show this glyph I always show, which will map out some things very easily. This is a glyph of Akhenaten as a sphinx. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and set free. All of these Egyptian things are supposed to be here and are considered our burden, just as Moses and the Lord blasted their way through there during the last exodus. We will do this again. But this individual right here, this, this one glyph actually maps out the end of days perfectly. When this individual comes down with this V on his chest for the fifth age, and he has this key to go through Obama, like everybody is known as a host and you can see this door he goes through Obama and does this large nuclear event by these two domes we're going to show these two domes mapped out right here by this airport destroying most of the southwest of the United States this is the dog star Sirius part of God's throne the left hand side is the accuser cast out of heaven right here coming down with the key the right hand side is where Jesus Christ sits and the power of God. And you can see this phoenix rising between these two domes. And then Russia rising up as part of the Revelation 13 beast, which it makes up many different parts, up to ten different nations that are waiting on this event to happen. Then they rise up for the Great Tribulation for 40 and 2 months. And then another beast rises up actually. Well, that's all mapped out right here. Here is the airport. The dog star is seen as the star of Bethlehem. And here it is right here. See this right here? This is the way through Jesus' door at this time. Just as you can see right here, Spirit of Flight Center. When this event happens, it will bruise the head of the serpent and bruise Jesus' heel. This is considered as Jesus' heel, right here, literally. And this door will be closed then. When Jesus casts down this guy, Jesus is going to call his people up and shut the door of grace and mercy. And then the only way into Jesus then is to have to actually not take the mark of the beast and go to the guillotines and prove your faith by going through a horrible time. May God have mercy on us all. So let's show this here. This is where the airport is, the Spirit Airlines. For those that have been following me, we've shown this over and over again all around the world. 
You see this up here, North one, North 119th Street, 911 backwards, which is what we're showing coming when Revelation 9, 11 happens. Revelation 9, just like we're in the month of September now. Revelation 9, when the bottomless pit is open. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Right there, the V, the fifth angel with the key to the bottomless pit, all right there in front of us. Now above this, the dog, perfectly right here, Spirit Airlines, out of here, you can see all of this. This is amazing to me. That's why I'm even showing this. I'm making this video late at night. Uh, this verifies every single thing I've been showing on my channel for years. This is, I mean, may God have mercy on his people. This is a big message to all of us. See the flag right here? The USA? Right here? The flag is sitting on top of those two domes, as I keep showing. This represents the United States of America now. And this bottom corner down here represents from San Diego to LA and such. This bottom corner is going to practically disappear. Is just like in Jeremiah 50 and Jeremiah 51. Something happens down here and it even causes tidal waves up and over the east coast. The earth is moved. You see this one big breast ready to go? See the two domes and the big bombs? when the phoenix rises and this is when the abyss is opened see right here and it's the end of the time of the dog see the dog perfectly right then this shuts that door right here see revelation well this one has it 11 9 backwards it means revelation 9 1 1 which means the angel from the bottomless pit is getting ready to rise and he looks like this bat just as I keep showing just like your Batman whatever it is Abaddon Apollyon see the dome going this bruises the head of the serpent for those that have been following me we will show about this new seed coming right here also verified by God right here in front of us may God have mercy on his people that died but thank you Jesus for showing us these things See how I keep showing this new Eucharist coming? Which is, has the DNA blended and it means death to deceive the whole world. He's right here. Standing right there. Death in this cow. Right here. We need one more thing to complete every single scenario that we've shown on our channel for years. We need a rabbit to be shown with this guy right here. Because when it means this guy rises, there's a rabbit symbol always shown. And it means like the trickster is coming. Or even with the rabbit ears can make a V, just like a peace sign. And here is the rabbit. Right there. May God have mercy on us all. This shows every single thing we've been showing on my channel for years. See the two domes? And this will blow up all of the USA. This guy rises from the bottomless pit right there. Abaddon, Apollyon. You can see the rabbit right here and you can see death. All perfect. Now right here over this one breast area you can actually see that bat individual coming out. For those that have seen the new series called um, there's a new series called The Strain and it literally shows this type of thing coming. May God have mercy on everybody. You see this bat like thing like sucking on this one breast trying to take everybody from Jesus Christ and when this thing blows up it bruises the head of the serpent and you can see right here I mean literally look how God's done this. There's the street backwards 911 Abaddon Apollyon right here 911 and they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon just as we've been showing on our channel over 
and over and over again. See him there? Look, there's the flag of the USA. Look at that. Right in front of us. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This verifies everything. This is coming. May God have mercy on us all. Abaddon, right there. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's keep going.